Hi everybody, this is Vitorials and today we are going to create this vector infographic in Adobe Illustrator. We are going to use simple shapes, a couple of transformation and use a blend power to create this very shiny, very colorful result. And we are going to do that right now. Go to the file, new, set, I'm gonna size this, my document by 19, 20 and 10. 80 and click create and I want to do a couple of things. First of all, I want to turn off my align to R, R to pixel grid. Then I, I want to increase the row size of my layers so everybody can see them easily. And uh, next I want to create a one more layer. Select first of them and cover my artboard with a gray rectangle like so, set the fills to none, set the stroke to this light gray and I want to click on this free space between airball and hover to lock this uh, rectangle. Next I want to grab all of my uh, colors here and throw it to my new artboard and I want to do it on my new layer, so like that and next log them on my artboard and create one more layer. So let's start with the circle. We need to grab our ellipse tool, hit on my artboard and set the width to 250 pixels and height to 250 pixels. Make sure that you link between width and height and click OK. Next I want to align it to the my artboard. Make sure that you uh, set the option align to artboard and then uh, align horizontally and vertically to the center. And I want to give the circle this yellow color FF9D33 and I want to create a vector shadow of this circle. For doing this we need to create a new layer, set it beneath drag beneath your original layer with your circle and create a duplicate of your circle with Ctrl C, Ctrl B like so and I want to hold my left mouse button key on this square and through this uh, duplicate to my new layer and uh, lock my original uh, layer with my circle so we don't interfere with that and maybe make it invisible clicking on this able. So we now uh, work only with duplicate and I want to set the co fill color of this duplicate to black. Go to my scale tool and scale, uh, scale this circle with 110 pixels and click copy to produce a a larger copy and set this copy beneath my original copy. So uh, keep it selected and go to your transparency panel. If you can find your transparency panel go to Windows transparency and set the opacity to zero like so. Select both of them, your smaller uh, bl black uh, circle and your transparent circle and go to your object blend blend options and here change the spacing to specify distance and set the specify distance to all 0.3 pixels and click OK. And now I want to use shortcut Ctrl Alt B or command option B on your Mac to produce a blend. Keep this blend selected, approach to your transparency panel and uh, reduce the opacity of this blend to 20 pixels. Toggle the visibility, make your original file visible, unlock it and now I want to grab my blend and throw it to my uh, original layer and using Ctrl left bracket or command left bracket send it to back and delete this layer, this empty layer. 
Next we need to create a several duplicates for and uh, we need to do that with the scale tool. So double click on your scale tool to open the dialog box, set the uh, uniform value to 150 pixels and uh, check preview and click copy. Now keep this, uh, do, uh, this copy selected, go to your select direct selection tool, create a new layer by clicking on this icon, set it beneath your original layer and drag this square to the new layer so it changed its color. So we set our copy to the new layer and it's sitting be beneath our original one and I want to give it this nice orange color. So I sample this color and I want to select this copy and go to my scale tool, double click, set the value to 144% and click copy to produce this result and then repeat the operation, create a layer and set it below go to my selection tool, select the square and sample this uh, color, this green-yellow color. Next select this layer, this all composition and uh, go to my scale tool, set the uniform value to 130% and click copy to produce another one copy, create a layer, set it beneath and through it my copy to the new layer, select this circle and set it this fill color 1795AA. And we need to produce one more copy, this is my last one. So create a new layer, set it below. Then select this circle with the shadow, double click to open the scale tool and set the scale value to uniform 125%, click copy to make it copy, to make a copy, I'll grab this copy and set it to the layer below and uh, give this circle this dark blue color. And I also want to select my, let me change the color of my bonding box, so we can e easily distinguish it. So select the shadow of the last layer, this shadow, and scale it down, down a little bit with holding Alt and Shift key or Option and Shift key to scale it from the center and scale it proportionally, like so. So we reduce the size of our shadow. Now we have our circles, we have our target shape and we need to create one layer on top. So click on this icon and this layer is reserved for our arrows. So to create an arrow go to your rectangle tool, hit on your Artboard and set the width of your rectangle to 600 pixels and height of your rectangle to 75 pixels. Click OK to produce a rectangle and now make sure that your smart guides is turned on. So click Ctrl U or Command U and then move this rectangle like so. Let me scale my composition with Ctrl plus Command plus. So left side of your rectangle is sitting in the center of composition and top side is reaching the top point of this circle. And now I want to give this uh, rectangle this color, yellow color and uh, I want to grab my art anchor point tool, click plus on your keyboard and hover on my right path right side of my rectangle and as you can see our smart guys shown me where is the middle of this path click add the anchor here with your direct selection tool 
this anchor to the right to create the shape and now select the three anchors and dragging on this bullet soften a little bit the corners and now we can see the corner radius here and I want to set the value to 4 pixels like so. So we have a line with 4 pixels corner radius. And next I want to group this line. Yes, I want to gr uh, group a single object. Then I want to go to the effect, distort and transform, transform. And here I want to set the number of copies to 4. I want to set the, my horizontal value to 50, move value to 50 pixels. And I want to set my vertical move value to 100 pixels. It's actually the height of my line plus 25 pixels gap. So check preview. This is our final design, click OK. And next I want to enter this group. Grab your selection tool and double click to enter the group. As you can see here, you are in the group now. And I want to grab my type tool. And type O, zero, type the number. This is my desired number and place it properly like so i want to change the color to white set it to white and i want to change the font to titilium bold like so and i want to leave this group so click on this arrow button now i want to go to object and expand expand appearance and then I want to ungroup all the composition, enter this group, change the number, and then select my line and uh, change the color, like so. And I want to through this line with the orange circle. I want to do this with the with every of our line so i do not want to bother you with this repetitive work and i want to hustle a little bit my tutorial and last step i want to grab this icon and place it in the middle and give it its own layer and set it to the front like so so we have our final design if you like this tutorial please do not hesitate to thumb up subscribe to my channel share it with your friends i want to thank you for following to the end as always you can download this using the link in the description download the final design Thank you for watching, have a nice day!